in the garage today working on red truck. Um, just got home from work. I got the uh, MSD 6AL2 um, programmable box. Wanted to open it up, show you what's in it. Let's get it installed. I'm um, going to have to download some stuff to my computer so we can use this for tuning the timing. I'm going to have to lock out my distributor and tune it strictly from this box. It's got rev limiters in it, a couple other things. So let's see what's in the box. Alright, this is how it came in the mail. Comes with the cable to hook it to the computer. All the hardware to install it. Got a wiring harness. The box. The CD program for the computer to tune. And the ignition harness to go to the distributor. Instruction manual and some stickers. Now, I've had some MSD stuff in the past, and I've always found that their directions are very thorough. Um, they make this stuff easy to wire in. You got all the different wiring for Chevrolet, Ford, Dodge, etc. Shows the uh, computer program. And also, on the back of all the MSD units, you always have a wiring diagram on the actual unit. Now this is my street fire. Um, it's a lower budget MSD box. I uh, had an issue with it, so that's why we're going to the MSD and upgrading. The, the wiring on it should be very similar. So we're going to swap them out, it shouldn't be too much to it. I have my old Street Fire box out. I started by disconnecting the negative battery and uh, just took all the wires out that was associated with the this box. The wire colors are all the same as the, the new box. Um, because this box is physically larger than my old one, I had to make me a little mount there to uh, have it installed. My wires are Hanging out on this side, but it's going to give me easy access to my computer port there. Um, hopefully, I can get all this stuff looking good. Um, make it look as neat as possible. So now I'm going to go ahead and wire up the, the new box. Um, it's pretty simple. you got two wires to go to the battery, one that goes to the old ignition power, two that goes to the coil, and two that goes to your distributor. So I'm going to go ahead and wire that up. I have the box wired up. Everything's connected. I have the extra wires routed right here. I'll probably put them behind the, the fender to make it look a little nicer, but everything's wired up. I'm almost, I, uh, I've already taken the distributor out. I locked it to where wherever I set the timing, it's not going to move because I locked out all the advance in the distributor. So now what I need to do is set the timing at 36 degrees. That way I can use my box to program how much degrees of timing I want. We'll get it fired up, get the timing set, and then going to get the computer hooked up and do a program that we want to do. I'll show you how to do that too. The truck's time is now set to 36 degrees and locked in the 36 degree position. I've got my serial cable that comes with the box hooked to the box. The serial cable does not hook to my computer so I had to get a serial cable to USB port. Here's the CD that comes with the 
program or that has the program information for the box comes with the box I've already loaded that to the computer all right programs on the computer see it right here double click all right, open that go to your open file and open one of the 6530s and restore all the views uh, this is all your launch control rev control all that stuff I'm not using launch control right now only thing I want to change is my revs my RPM so I click on that go to 6800 save to PC you see that changed it right there and then it says 8 cylinder tack trigger um, just got a whole bunch of different stuff in there Some a lot of the stuff I'm not using but I'm going to minimize this a little bit and I'm going to go right over here to my retard curve since I have 36 degrees in there I'm going to take 16 degrees out actually that dot was there I'm gonna re restart that zero curve because that should have dragged this curve down so I'm gonna bring the whole thing down to 16 that we have 20 degrees of initial timing at a thousand degrees or a thousand RPM and we'll have you watch up top tells you RPM and your degrees now at a thousand RPM I'm gonna right click add dot that puts another dot right there and then I want to go up to two degrees at 2800 RPM that way my total timing is 34 degrees because this box takes timing out it doesn't add timing in so being that I've got 36 degrees we need to have two taken out I want to do that at 2800 RPM and I'm going to drop a dot there and it's going to move my ramp my curve my timing curve so it's going to go from a thousand RPM it's going to go straight up to 2800 all right, got the curve I want. Um, I had a problem. I was on the wrong COM port, so make sure you're on the right COM port or else nothing's going to work. And all this will be gray if it's not working. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send this from PC to MSD, and that'll send this file into the box. everything should be installed I went ahead and brought my gauges up so I can watch my RPM and my degrees you can see it says 16 right now and that'll be when I straight fired up and it should at a thousand RPM start changing at 2800 RPM it should be full um, full retard at, at 3800 tuning on it. Uh, keep in mind when you get one of these you need a serial cable to USB if you're using a laptop. Work great. Uh, sounds good. Um, can't take you on a test drive because the GoPro battery is dying. But there is wideband O2 on this truck and I'm going to be doing some tuning. I'm going to be tuning with the, the MSD box as well. So um, more videos on that stuff.